all people say hey, you that I had a press conference, I was uh, I was daring people for Christ's sake. I was uh, threatening people for Christ's sake. Why wouldn't I threat lawbreakers? Who are they? Why should I appeal to a lawbreaker? Why should I appeal to an arm robber? Why should I beg him? The law must be applied. Sanctions must be applied according to law. So it's, it's not nothing to do. He said, I'm an elite. So, is it the poor people that are causing the problems? Is it the poor people that are developing where they are not supposed to develop? Tell me. Who are those starting the master plan of the city? Is it the poor? Do they have the money to come and develop? No. The so called elites, the so called rich people, who think that nothing will happen? Who told you nothing will happen? Something will happen. <laughs> Something will happen. We can't continue in this way. We cannot continue. So you have a role to play. You have a role to play. So I sincerely believe that. Things will work out well. If we tell you what we have seen in FCT, we do respect to you. We do respect. FCT is dead. I can tell you authoritatively. I don't give a damn what anybody will say. Yes, it's true. And we are coming up to tell the public see what is on ground, see what we have seen. We're not going to hide it. We are not going to hide it. I was telling the permanent secretary this morning. How can there be a garnishing order against them? 800 million US dollars? How do, you, how do you survive from it? How? Who are those responsible for this? Who are those responsible for this? That a territory that no project, everything have abandoned, that's a guarantee of 800 million US dollars. Do you know what they're talking about? How do you survive it? Minister, you were there? Yes, when sir. I was close. Yes, sir. Go and see what happened. Guarantee your diet, guarantee your diet, guarantee your diet. Just, the place is just gone. Just, the general will talk to me later. It's terrible. How do you survive it? And then you now say we have come, we should do miracle. Which miracle? Where will I get the money to go and pay 20 million US dollars? Because if you don't tell the public what is on ground, the public will not appreciate it. So the Nigerians will know. See what is going on. See what how can if you see the rot. These are things you should highlight and tell the world. Let them know. Let them know it's in a mess. But we can't run away. We have to solve uh, problems, to take challenges. That is what we have. Our president did not bring us here to begin to say, oh, yeah, my brother, yeah, but no, no, no. President brought us look, this is bad. Come and help to see how we can change it. We can't finish everything. If we like, keep us here 20 years, we can't solve all the problems. But we'll try as much as we can, the little we can do, and let people know that with Mr. President's support, we're able to, you know, do things that people can ask, okay, this is what is going in the city. Beautiful place. We're designed to be one of the best cities in the in the world for the benefit of all of us. All of us. But few people believe that they can have their way all the time. And all of us are food in our hands. They come, they sell information to you, put this in your paper, put it in social media. You are not <laughs> you are working for them. 
to kill the city the more. They are working for them. Which poor man is saying in Matama? Can you show me the poor man? Which poor man is saying in Asokoro? They are not there. This city is occupied by rich men, right? They also be at the, they will pay the tax. They will pay. 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 It doesn't matter how you abuse me, you will pay. <laughs> because you can't tell me you are not paying your taxes and then you want the city to be clean. Is it possible? No. You pay, I do the work. You don't pay, you suffer for it. So don't be used to you know make this city to make the government to look as if we are not working. We are prepared to do everything we can. I met Mr. President the other day, just look. We must bring back sanitation exercise. We must. Everybody has to be involved. Two Saturdays in a month, is it too big to clean your environment? <clears throat> Seven o'clock to 10 a.m., three hours, what is big there? You know, you know every big man wants to, you know, just government should service you for nothing. So I thank you. Let's work together and move FCT. That is what is uh, important.